Was the U.S. isolationist in the 1920s? No. The United States emerged from World War I as a world power, forcing them to participate in international affairs. The U.S. also had economic connections with European countries. On the other hand, the U.S. was isolationist. The U.S. tried to attempt to encourage immigration laws and tariffs. A tariff is a tax or duty to be paid on a particular class of exports or imports. Tariffs were set by the U.S. on foreign goods to protect factories and farms. Fordney McCubber, <laughs> the Fordney McCubber Act and the Emergency Tariff were both used to protect factories and farms. They needed to provide commerce and regulate revenue. Immigration was the most important way in that U.S. state isolation is. By 1929, only 150,000 immigrants per year were allowed in the United States. Before World War I, millions of people, mainly Europeans, had come to the U.S. to flee poverty. The Immigration Act of 1917 was the first act put to ban immigrants from coming to the United States. It was very strict in their rules. They said that anyone 16 and over that was illiterate was not allowed in the United States. The Emergency Quota Act was intended to restrict immigration to the U.S. as well. 3% of the size of each nationality group that had been living in the U.S. in 1910 was allowed in the United States. The Reed Johnson Act of 1924 provided visas to only 2% of the total people of each nationality in the U.S. as of the, 19, of the 1890 census.